just know oh, because you're fucking it up. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, we're the Ruby Sons. You're watching Backstage with Casey Faye. Hey guys, I'm Casey Fay. I'm here with the Ruby Sons. They just released their third album, but their second on Sub Pop. Right, guys? Yes. All right. Go ahead and introduce right. yourselves, and then what you do in the band. Oh, uh, well, I'm Ryan. I play, I sing, and play guitar, and hit drum pads, and that sort of. And write all the songs. And write all the songs. And do everything. And I play some drums and samples. And you're a little bit sick. Oh. A little bit sick. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't hear me then. Alistair's usually the peppiest one amongst them. Yeah. <laughs> pretty peppy. It's just you can't hear me. Hypothetically peppy. If you could hear what I was saying, you would be uplifted. No. Um, I'm Graham. I just make bad pun related jokes mostly. That's what you're good for. Stage you know? left pun related yeah, jokes. Yeah. 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 Mid song banter. Tell me about this new album called Fight Softly? Yes. Compared to <laughs> Sea Lions, um, your fans feel, I've read a few reviews and everything, and some of your fans feel that you're going more into a modern era. What made you have this change with this album? Modern era, like, do you mean uh, stuff that other people are doing? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. That, that, see, that's kind of, that kind of annoys me. Oh. Uh, oh, no, yeah, a lot of people say that, but it, it annoys me because I... Um, it's not influenced by anything that's that the people are referencing, like the, and reviews Madonna. people. Yeah, it's like influenced by Madonna, not Animal Collective, or uh, like by some Argentinian cumbia producer, and not Vampire Weekend or something like that, yeah. or, or like some uh, Angolan DJ, and not Yese or something like that. So that's. That's kind of annoying, but the funny thing is, like, the result is is sort of uh, comparable to some of those bands, so it, it totally makes sense. How long have you guys been touring the songs off of Fight Softly? A couple months. Couple months. It was just released last yeah. month. Yeah, I guess so. Right. Yeah. Since February, we did a New Zealand tour in February. The New Zealand tour is a bit of a misnomer because it's about three or four days, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but we did it. Um, we actually did it in two weekends. We did one weekend <laughs> and the other weekend. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can stretch it out, but it's often not necessarily mm. worth it. Um, and then came here at the beginning of March and started out in Vegas and have been on the road since. Have you always known that you were going to be a musician or did you have another job in mind? <laughs> I didn't have any other job in mind, that's for sure. No, you know, I, when you're younger and you're like, I want to be an architect or I'm going to be a firefighter, stuff like that. Yeah, um, not when I was 12, I used to like look at myself in the mirror playing guitar. You so, better skater. You still do that today, right? I haven't <laughs> done that in a long time, and I probably should do that because, you know, dancers have to dance in, in mm -hmm. the mirror so they know how their body looks like. And I feel like that's what maybe you're talking about for. taking. That's what YouTube's maybe about taking <laughs> you can see yourself. Band photos and like, it's like it would probably be worth knowing if how stupid you look on stage. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually mm -hmm. did that once when I was in the band. I did a video of ourselves. Oh, and then you watched your video. <laughs> and said, oh, Al, yeah, you could probably move your shoulders a bit more. Yeah. Let's get back to fight softly. Um, there are a lot of natural sounds that you kind of. Um, change and make them feel much more mechanic. What sounds are your favorite that we would have no idea that are on that album? Uh, um, I guess there's some stuff that's just like a boring guitar, but it has it sounds nothing like a guitar. Um, this, I really like the first song. Actually, there's some really weird sounds on there. I just used filter and delay effects and combinations. And, uh, it's been quite funny just learning to play the songs because it, it's, it's interesting when you join a band after they've already kind of created the music you're then going to play. Um, and then listening to the album when Ryan was first kind of asking us to join the band and, and not having a clue how any of these sounds would be made. You know what I mean? And then kind of starting to kind of see behind the curtain, but it's quite fun. But we, Ryan had this idea that he wanted this, this version of the band to be, you know, no backing tracks and quite a... It's funny because even though it's the most 
you could say it's the most electronic and sample based album but it's, it's also the it's most live the most live the band has live been show like yeah which I think years. is really cool and I'd, basically when he sort of said that to, to us I just thought it was a really great idea um, and I, I think you know that's always any, any kind of live show needs to have that kind of human element let's go with telling your fans a secret about yourself and take your time and then just go down the line <laughs> Something that, like, not everyone knows that you're a vegetarian, and not everyone knows maybe that you went to jazz camp growing up. You went to jazz camp. <laughs> oh, what, you studied jazz. Jazz I in went, college? A university. A university, not yeah. jazz camp. Well, this isn't so much a secret, it's just an interesting thing. Um, we all uh, have started wearing clothes on tour that we found in a dumpster in North Carolina? North Carolina, yeah. Um, which was kind of this amazing, we just played and we went out to the van and there's this dumpster and there's all these clothes in it and at first it was like, uh, and then it was like, hold on, these are clean and kind of nice. That's They're the quite fashionable. The we all that one right there? Yeah. Totally Keep your distance. <laughs> no, we washed them. Oh, okay. We haven't done any other washing on tour, but we washed the clothes <laughs> we found in the dumpster. I once peed myself whilst playing cricket. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> At the crease. Oh, that's such a good story. And I was like, it was like, oh, psh. Oh, no. Oh, I really need to go to the toilet. And the coach wouldn't let me go to the toilet. I was really far away. And I'm pretty sure that no one noticed. But maybe everyone did. So. Because there was piss running down your <laughs> I know one. You guys shopped at Wildman Vintage today. Oh, yeah. That's a great oh, secret for here in up. town. I just told everyone that I pissed myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's that? You went to a shop. <laughs> I know that you guys are hungry and there's food on the way. I just want to th say thank you to our sponsors, Wild Man Vintage. And thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah repping it right here. We got shirt there, oh, yeah. shirt there, jacket. Yeah, that <laughs> and this has been Backstage with Casey Faye and the Ruby Suns. Thanks.